So, over the past month or so, probably more than that, I've had a problem with my transmission leaking. Initially, I thought it was engine oil, but given the place where it's leaking from, it's definitely the transmission. And I actually had some issues that I thought was the, the actual transmission, not just the fact that it was low on oil, where I would be driving along and I'd go around a corner and it would pop into neutral. It was the weirdest thing, but taking hard corners, it would go right into neutral and the revs would go Whoa! So then I discovered that it was the transmission fluid leaking. So I finally today am getting around to actually removing the transmission cover on the bottom. And then I'm gonna redo a whole gasket on it so it's nice and tight because the place that I'm moving to uh, does not allow leaky, oily vehicles. Today I'm just gonna get the, the uh, oil pan off the bottom, clean it up, get it all tidy fresh, put it back in, and then that should do it. So underneath here, this is the oil pan for the transmission, and the bolts on the side, I believe, are 13s. They are. So it's just a bunch of 13s to get this removed, and I've got a oil catcher down here just to catch whatever leaks out more than what is already leaked out. I've actually allowed this to uh, drain out and leak as much as it wanted to. But let's get this removed. As you can see here, there's like this cork gasket, and it is completely just toasted, worn out, and it looks like they've used some high heat gasket sealant, which I have some of this stuff actually, and it looks actually pretty new. So I wonder if someone had done a little overhaul on the transmission and didn't bother with replacing this gasket. Oh, I gotta clean all this off, get it nice, fresh, speck and span, and then what I'm gonna do is do a layer of gasket maker, and then I'm gonna do another layer, another layer, another layer, another layer, another layer, and build up a nice, thick, gasket because this the the red stuff is actually it is very very well attached but once that oil gets through it's compromised not oil transmission fluid but uh let's get to uh tidying this up did three layers and I would say it is mighty thick so what I'm gonna do pop it back in so if you're confused about which of which orientation this is to be placed in this is the back of the car this is the front of the car so if you look at it there are one two three bolts here and then over here is a little curly bit a little 
you see. Sure you do. So, one, two, three bolts in the rear. Three in the rear, curly in the front. That's, you're, you're guaranteed to remember that. So now, everything's torqued. I don't mean torque it down, but just make it nice and firm. When I was undoing the bolts, they were awfully loose. I think that was another reason why it was loosening like it was, or loosening why it was leaking. So just nice and firm. Don't strip out your transmission bolts. Just firm. So what I'm gonna do now, is put some fluids in it. So, there isn't, I mean, there isn't a real easy way to fill up the trans fluid. It's this over here. Trans fluid. So, pretty much you just pull this all the way out. Make sure your dog doesn't try to lick the dipstick because she's tried to do, nope. She's tried to do that before. You're gonna take a tiny, tiny little funnel here and you're just gonna pop it in there like so. Now, you really have to watch your, uh, your fillage because it will, it will backflow. So just take it nice and easy. This isn't a race. You're just gonna fill it up and I'd say put a quart and a half in and then use the dipstick, check the level just like you would with your engine oil and then uh, keep filling as needed. With this transmission fluid, I'm using the Castrol Transmax High Mileage. Now there are specific trans fluids for Chevys and Fords and all that, but I usually go with just the high mileage just because what well, high mileage. And that'll help keep your transmission running well. Make sure it's the automatic transmission fluid as well. Unless you got a manual Astro, then that's cool. But that's what I'm using. Once you're done, you just start her up and let that transmission uh, get some juice rolling and I'm going to take her for a test drive. <laughs> 